Rai and Nimbu, two of the strongest pillars of the East Nepalese community, fearless warriors of Nepal. And I sneaked into the private festival for a sole reason, to explore and understand the Nepalese culture. This video is basically my impression, my understanding and my complaints. But for that, you got to stick to the end. So keep watching guys. This festival began with an amazingly good looking people in the traditional attire dancing in the traditional music, like a ritual. And it was such an amazing moment, I just couldn't take my eyes out of it. <laughs> देवी <laughs> गर्छम <laughs> I <laughs> अब यो हामीले त्यहाँ सेउले पनि गाड्छौ नाच्दा खेरि बीचमा अब सेउलेको अर्थ चाहिँ मैले बुझे अनुसार एउटा समूह समूह भनौ न पल्लो डाडा ओल्लो डाडा भने समूह समूह हुन्छ थुमथुमको मान्छे अब थुमथुमको मान्छे भेला हुन सकिन्दैन हैन सबैजना भेला हुन सकिन्दैन अनि त सेउली गाडेर यसैले थुम मानु हैन भएको यसरी नै बसेर सबैजना बसेर रमाइलो गरौ भनेर त्यसरी हामी फेरि संस्कारको कुराहरुमा त्यसरी गर्छौ मंगसी <laughs> यो छेलो भन्ने कार्य उ खेल छ यो पक्लुम भन्छ याक्तुङ भाषामा यो चाहिँ एउटा हाम्रो यो पहिला सृष्टि कालमा जब तागेर निङाफु माङ मुजिनले सृष्टि गर्यो मानव सृष्टि भएपछि जब मानवहरुलाई बचाउनको लागि जब यहाँ एकदम 
घाम को प्रकाश ले एकदम के नहुंदा खेरी पानी को आवश्यकता पड़े तो ये खेरा चाहे यो पोरक में या भामी मांग ले चाहे पानी सृष्टि का अनुकूल लागे चाहे उल्ले छेलो हाने रा चाहे माथी ठोकारा कि ब्राह्मण डाला जब त्यो सिचाई का आवश्यकता पड़े तो ये खेरा जब ठोकिंदा खेरी चाहे तेरे को तेरे पानी आए पची चाहिए जब कृषि युग शुरू हो कृषि युग शुरू हुआ पची चाहिए यहाँ को जब मानव बस्ती हो हमें ले त्याग देखी कृषि खेती ला बाली लगाने शुरू करें अन्य त्याग देखी जब तागेरा निगम भूम मांगले मानव सृष्टि ले बाली लगाने लाये तारा के वाने देरे जनवर जंगली जनवर चरा चुरुंगी हर लेते जब यो बाली पाके पची चाहे हमी चशोक तंगनम चाह बने को लिंबू भाषा में अन्ना अन्ना लाये चाहे हमी चौराहों सुन बने सोक बने को चौराहों नू अने हमी अन्ना लाये चाहे ताकेर निंगा फूम मांग लाये चाहे हमी यो उधावली में चौराहों सुन बने रा उन्हें बने पची त्याह वाला त्यो भाकल गारे रा अने � त्याग देखिए जैसे अन्न हर लाए समरक्षण करने को लागी चाहे यो ताकेरा निगा भूम यु मांग लाए चाहे ऐसे रिपु कार्य रा अन्न लाए चराऊं ने चाहे हमरे यो प्रथा बहुत से रचे हमी जाती भूमि पुत्र यो यक्षण हरु थुं हमी ले चाहे जाइले बने अन्न पाके पची चाहे यो चराऊं ने लाए चाहे चशोक तंगनाम बने रचे हमे� निरंतर दादीनु लाए हमें ले चशोक तंगना माचे हमें ले अन्न बाली लाए पहले चोटी पाके को बाली लाए चढ़ा रा हमें तागेरा निम्बा फूम मांग लाए चढ़ा रा चे हमें निरंतर ता दिए रा अपनो यो सस्कार सस्कृति लाए जगेरना गरेरा राखी राय चुं ये सेला हमें चशोक तंगना बन दाचों चेलो वाज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग � Everyone was missing it, and we just had a laugh, and it was hilarious to watch. <laughs> So basically, this is what I have to say. So I plead guilty to being one of those Nepalese who knows everything about Christmas, Easter, Ramadan, Eid, a holy chart, Baisakhi, but I have no clue about the festivals of my friends who I grew up with playing marbles. Like, for example, Udoli, Uboli, Losar. I have no clue whatsoever. I've never been invited. I've never been educated. I've never seen them in person. And I have no idea. But on the other hand, if you've been paying attention, you can see Valentine's Day is a huge event these days. But if you ask this younger generation, what is this traditional or cultural ethnic festivals, they have no clue whatsoever. And that points out to a problem. Are we embracing the Western culture over our own? Or are we so much into our own bubbles that we don't care about our next door neighbor's celebrations and, and festivals? Or are we not willing to open our doors for people to come and understand us or our culture? My question is, why can't these festivals be celebrated in a bigger scale? Regardless of what culture, what religion, what ethnicity you come from, why can't we celebrate each other's festival as a true Nepalese? Leave your prejudice aside, leave your caste system aside and just celebrate, embrace the diversity. And that's the only way I think we can be united. And this not only brings unity in our society, but can also bring economic prosperity. Look, Darjeeling, for an example, why the society is so beautiful is because they have long time ago embraced the diversity and become one as a true Gurkhas. And I think the biggest problem we have here is we don't know about each other much. When you don't know about each other much, you start judging people. You start making judgment about each other. You start assuming things which are not true. 
I think there is no doubt that we Nepalese people are one of the most racist people in the world. And the only way to undo this damage that we have done in our society for generations is through education, is through exchange of information in a very respectful fashion, of course.